Hello, so in this example 7.7, we have a loop with a uh, changing magnetic field pointing upwards, and then we drew inside an impairing loop of radius s. We'll do it like this, okay? And we're trying to find the electric field that is caused by this. Well, as we just learned, we can use uh, basically the last formula that we had in our uh, lecture. So we have that the electric field over a closed loop is equal to negative the change in flux. Now the change in flux, though, well, first of all, the flux is equal to what? The flux is equal to P over an area. So the magnetic field of an area. In this case, it will be equal to B. I'll use the absolute value because so I don't have to put the uh, direction now. And the area would be, uh, sorry, pi s squared. Okay. Um, and then the E, with the L, the integral over closed loop would be E. And then 2 pi s. So it's equals to a negative, the derivative of our flux, which just says equal to this. Over dt. So we're going to have the e is equals to, well, we can start simplifying some stuff to pi, for example, the square with the s. And so we get that is equals to uh, s over 2, which doesn't change over time. I'll use absolute value again, times, and then when I have a b with the derivative over time, I'm going to actually use proper notation d b over d t. And of course, we know that the, oh, negative point, the electric field is in the phi direction. So we can use phi hat. Now, as you can see, the electric field, which is now a vector, we said it's a vector, changes only if the, the B is changing. If it's not changing, then it's not going to change. Also, as you can see, it's going to go in the opposite direction because just to create a opposite and uh, equal and opposite magnetic field. You can think about this as the third Newton's equation, pretty much.